Libra. <laughs> what it goddamn be, bruh? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Back at it a goddamn again, y'all. We is in this mother. <laughs> we is in this mother to find out what is going on for the month of June. I am starting out with you, baby, because guess what? You were number three, top three viewed, okay? You were number three in the top viewed, <laughs> excuse me. So, you know, um, the bonus didn't make it over to the other channel. So I said, let's just go ahead and start June off with you. All right? Y'all like that? Y'all good with that? Because, shit, I like, I like starting off at number one. Fuck that. Let's start it off with the motherfucker. Number one. Let's start out with my heavy hitters, okay? Let's listen. Start out with your heavy hitters. Start out with your heavy hitters, Libra. Listen. I don't know if y'all been listening to... This song by Lizzo. And single. And the ring. And the finger. Listen. I don't know if y'all know who Lizzo is. But please listen to goddamn Lizzo. Um, What is this song called? Oh my God. Truth Hurts. Lizzo. Truth Hurts. That is playing in the background for you guys. And I'm trying to tell y'all. Like that is so fucking Libra. That is Libra gang 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 gang. That Lizzo song, Truth Hurts, that is Libra gang 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 gang. Shout out to my Libra gang gang gang. Let's get into this stuff for June. Um, Thank you guys for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Y'all know I love my Libra gang. Y'all already know the instructions for booking. Go ahead and click that about tab. Hit that um, booking link that says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Go ahead, book and then link up with me. My Instagram link is at the bottom of that. Go ahead and send me a message so we can connect on that date and time. If you don't have Instagram, use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Go ahead and download this app called Google Hangouts. Send me a message on there. We can do our video chats on there. If you don't want to get on um, video with me to do the live reading, you can purchase an add-on. Um, and or if you just want a video recap of this whole session. If you want me to record your whole session and have a private upload to YouTube. And or if you don't want to get on camera and you just want to send me your question. Now, make sure do not email me your situation pertaining why you're answering you're asking the question because I can't help you adequately if you're telling me everything only email me what you want to know okay without telling me what's going on send me your um, message on a platform that you prefer have it be Google Hangouts on Instagram and I'll record your video I'll upload it, and I'll send you the link and we're good to go if anyone wants to send any love and light y'all make sure that y'all check out that um, PayPal link that's in the about in description as well as my Amazon um, wish list and shout out to everyone as you know we got the Game of Thrones deck through the Amazon wish list through the love um, oh my goodness we got the numerology deck we got the tea leaf deck um, just y'all been sending so much love so much love and light to the page and I thank you guys so much because y'all see it goes right back into the page and it gives us a lot of flavor a lot of different options to tell our stories of what's going on so you know we want to be getting into the twin flame messages y'all already know we want to be finding out what's going on over there with the twin and I done pulled out Listen, y'all, I done pulled out that Doreen Virtue Love deck. Y'all ain't seen this on my page in a long time because I, like, retired this deck. So I done pulled this out, and I know y'all love that deck. So that's a good, that's a that's a very good treat for y'all. So let's get into this, let's get into this energy for June. Thank you again, Father God, for bringing us here for my lovely, lovely Libras. You know how much I love and adore my Libras, and I thank you for how much... They love and adore me back because trust me, man, I just, boy, man, we be, <laughs> Libra gang, 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 what? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> y'all just don't understand. Like, if y'all have never been in a Libra reading before, y'all don't understand how we go in Libra readings. Libra gang, gang, gang. I'm sorry. Anyway, y'all got me hype already. I'm like almost scared. I'm getting the chills. 
Father God, they don't even understand how real we be over here, Father God. Please give us guidance because you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Hey, they do anything for clout in the background. So y'all started off my reading, Libra. When Lizzo truth hurt and then they do anything for clout, I'm listen. I ain't playing with y'all. I'm almost scared to see what we about to get into because I already see what type of listen. <laughs> Libra, gay, gay, gay. Oh, God, give my Libra's goddess for June. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. I'm bagging it out. Libra, gay, gay, gay. Give my Libra's. Give us some guidance. Because I'm telling you, I, I can feel y'all energy thugging it out in the comments already. Like, I feel y'all. And it's like, this shit is so crazy. Because I be recording this before we be in the chat. But I be hearing y'all talking shit. I be hearing, like, <laughs> give me guidance. Let's pop it. Let's get it going. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Give me our spirit number for my Libra. Gang, 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 gang. Mm. Look. Let's suck my dick. Okay, Libra. Look. Cardi in the back saying they do anything for clout. It's a manifestation. This reading is about manifestation, Libra. Ouch. Listen. So listen, this is about authority right now. Libra is like, I told y'all, y'all on y'all goddamnedest. Like, y'all is on y'all goddamnedest. Y'all are manifesting out this world. You see that pink right there, honey? That is self-love, honey. You is walking around here with a pink glow, just fluorescent pink halo glow all around you pink power ranger pussy unite activate okay bitch come on <laughs> what where my unicorns where my pink power ranger pussy bitches what come on who they fucking with libra they don't even know what it be bruh what libra gang 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 what Let's, let's pull out this Rebel deck because y'all already fucking with it. Y'all already fucking with it. What? Pink Power Ranger Pussy. Team Unite. Activate. What? Boom. What? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's see what we going on because we feeling real Rebel like today. We feeling, we feeling like a Rebel. We feeling like a Rebel. Okay, give us some guidance in regards to this manifestation in my Libra. Okay, oh, don't fucking force it, you guys. Allow shit to come to you. Oh, okay, come on, Father. That's a nice one. Thank you. Give me one more. What is this? What it say? And then it said, Fuck fear, it will lie to you in your face. Fuck fear, it will lie. Listen, fuck. <laughs> One more fall because I already know. It said you need a good fucking cry. Get that ugly cry on. Let that shit go and your soul will thank you. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I feel like right now you guys are really in a place of manifestation. Like I said, we are in our new beginning. It ain't even, oh, new beginnings are coming. We are in our new beginnings right now. And right now, it's just like such a new place for us that we don't necessarily know what it is that we're feeling, where we're going. This is a new scenery, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like right now, you guys are playing on a totally different uh, playing field. And I feel like right now, you are really trying to, like, you're using your authority to, like I said, to manifest you want prosperity. You want abundance. You have that ambition. And it's about giving and receiving right now. So what Spirit is trying to tell you is you already put your manifestation out there to the universe. We heard you. Continue to walk around with that glow, baby. Don't force it. Allow this shit to come to you because it's coming. You already put that shit out there in the universe. And do not, 
don't be fearing like I keep trying to tell y'all use y'all tools wisely once you put a manifestation out into the universe know that it's being handled and that's it don't be like, well, it's just taking too long. I don't even know. Does it? Once you put doubt on it, you fucking it up. Fear will lie to you in your face. Don't ever in your life think for one second that once you put a manifestation out there that God don't hear you, especially when they see that you don't activate it, power range, but why you don't activate it? You and your whole team, Libra, guy, guy, it's a universal thing. Y'all done activated this. Y'all listen. Listen to me. If you need to, fear will lie to you in your face. Cry that shit out. Get that ugly cry on and let that shit go. Your soul will thank you because you ain't got nothing to fear. You ain't got nothing to pick. But once you put that doubt on it, you gonna fuck it up. Once you manifest something and you put your intentions into it and God know your heart, just believe in that and just let it go and don't force it. Don't keep wishing on it. Don't keep just, no, believe and just know and walk around in your glow. Walk around in your glow. Okay? Y'all gonna make me sing because my bitch Lizzo is in the back and I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, the song in the back is, I don't need no body else. Excuse me while I feel myself. Excuse me while I feel myself. Cause I don't need no body else. Excuse me while I feel myself. Excuse me while I feel myself. Listen, she said, looking in the mirror and I'm feeling like a stripper. Uh, so, uh, so she said, I'm smacking on the ass, getting thicker and thicker. Ooh, what? Listen. Feeling like a stripper when I'm looking in the mirror. Said I'm smacking on the ass. Getting thicker and thicker. Oh, what is y'all eating good? Y'all's eating good? I don't need nobody. Excuse me while we feel ourselves. <laughs> y'all better go listen to that Lizzo. And in the mirror, said a sucking on the ass, getting kippy guidance for my Libras. Y'all hear that shit? Look, and emotionally fulfilled. Y'all pulling up, huh? Excuse me while I feel myself. You see everybody looking at you, pulling up. Okay? Like I said, we lotus flowers. We done had to motherfucking dig through the dirt. You see how dirty your feet is? You see how much you had to go through to be able to pull up like this? Excuse me why the fuck we feel ourselves around this bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Because we this, and what is this? We done walked away from a self-serving, narcissistic motherfucker, okay? And we ain't going back, okay? We ain't going back to that shit. Excuse us why the fuck we feel ourselves. You understand? And yeah, we is a little bit boasty. We is a little bit arrogant because we know where the fuck we came from. What she said, I don't need a crown to know that I'm a queen. Y'all better fuck a plate in the background, yeah. Listen, temperance. I don't need no crown to know that I'm a queen. Excuse me why I fit. <laughs> Listen, excuse me while I feel myself, honey. You a listen. <laughs> oh my God, Libra, I am shaking right now. I don't need nobody else. Excuse me while I feel myself, honey. You are so goddamn immersed in yourself right now. And knowing that you got manifestations out there that is cooking up for you in the background. This car says blessed and highly fucking favored. Excuse me while I feel myself. You see anybody else in this car? I'm worried about me. Me and just me, where my faith has carried me, where my prayers have carried me, where my hope, my dreams, that's where I'm going. I don't need nobody else. Excuse me while I feel myself. I'm filling myself up with faith, with hope and joy and happiness, abundance, prosperity, clarity. What? Excuse me why I feel myself. Why? 
Why? Yeah, I'm boasty because I know where the fuck I came from. I know where I came from. Huh. I know where I came from. Looking in the mirror and I'm feeling like a stripper. <laughs> Slapping on her ass, getting thicker and thicker. Hold on. It's a lot of shit popping off for you very much so rapidly. And you see that chameleon right there? Oh, all them blessings are coming from the sky, honey. Yes. Yes. You wanted that new change? You wanted what you wanted. New beginnings. Prosperity. You wanted things that you ain't never seen before. Things that you might have to adapt to your personal life to these new blessings. Oh, yeah, there it is. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different opportunities of blessings coming to you in all in different. Listen, each one of these wands are newfound blessings coming to you in different arenas, different avenues in your life. Dear Lord, please open me up. Open me up. And I'm very open to all channels of newness, of prosperity. Of new development, of new creativity, of new passions. This is you being open and willing to see what it is that you need to do to adapt. And I'm not meaning changing who you are, but fitting who you have become now. And how you fit into these new opportunities that are being offered to you. Each one of these wands is a new beginning in this. New beginning in success. New beginning in career. New beginning in partnership in regards to parenting. If you guys are having a co-parenting, you guys are becoming ses successful in that. You guys figured out... You figured out what you needed to be yourself. Because a lot of times in order to accept newness into your life you got to get rid of a lot of shit and you can't come into new situations being who you were in the past so changing and adapting chameleon and changing and adapting to these new blessings and all this new stuff that you've been taught all this new stuff that you've been filling yourself up with that's been giving you this hope that's been giving you this inspiration to create and to build something new it's taught you not only the changes that you want to see in your life, but what you need to do to change to clean your slate, to be receptive to it. The number eight, remember, manifestation. The number eight also means giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. And it means manifestation. It means authority, prosperity, abundance, ambition. Giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. So trying to figure out this new person that I am, how these new opportunities fit into my life, and if I'm able to adapt, or this new person that I've become, does this fit with this new person that I've become? Because I have the authority to say what comes and what goes on this table, on this plate, the moon, okay? The moon. You might have had two tower moments in your life in the past. Two things that were very significant to you that ended. But throughout those turbulent moments in your life, it illuminated such a, a birth of your intuition. These traumatic experiences opened up your intuition and you being able to trust your body and trust your instincts, you know, and when you do feel anxiety, when you do feel insecure, when you do feel nervous and you do feel anxious, you are learning on a spiritual level what that means. What is my body trying to tell me? Now you you, you don't you don't just uh if you feel about a jealousy or uh, about an insecurity, you don't sit there and go on a low vibrational level with it. You'll be like, well, what is my body trying to tell me? You look deeper. That's the high priestess. You understand? The high priestess was birthed in those waters under the moon, those spiritual waters, those same spiritual, you see that you're kneeling before. So you're going back to your birthplace and you're filling yourself up. That's why I said, that's why I told you. Yeah, you boasty as fuck. And some people might not, <laughs> might be feeling some type of way about it because you eating good, you feeding your family. A lot of people are looking at you, how you pouring up like that, how you had, how you came out the mud and you able to fill up all your cups on your own. 
You single and on your goddamnedest, and you ain't looking back at none of this shit. Look at this loser. Look at this loser. Y'all could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay? But you guys are balanced. You guys are balanced. And when I'm trying to tell you that y'all are fiery red hot, y'all are fiery red hot, honey. Y'all have been called out. Y'all been called out of them spiritual waters. Uh-uh, honey. You know how to use your intuition. You know how to listen to your body now. You know exactly what you're doing, boo-boo. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of all these new opportunities. Don't be scared. Because at the end of the day, you ain't drunk and high off a of dumb, toxic bullshit no more. Because there he go again. Look at the drunk-ass fucking idiot. Look at this fool. All them cups being offered in front of this fool. Don't need too busy. Being self-consumed, they didn't even see what was being offered. But guess what? Ain't shit being offered no more. Not to nobody. We're offering them cups to ourselves. We ain't fucking high, stupid, drunk on love off of false, that false twin flame, divine masculine bush. Fuck that bullshit. If you don't love me and you can't see what I am giving to you off rip, you could suck a dick. <laughs> okay? I'm woke like a motherfucker. If you can't see what the fuck I'm delivering off rip, could you that self-consumed and narcissistic and blind that you can't even see the blessings that are being given before you, you could suck a mean ass dick. Yeah, straight like that. And if y'all don't like that, I could get the fuck off my page. Because all my OGs, they already know how the fuck we rock around here. Y'all niggas can suck dick. All the all of you's, the all of you's, the all of you's. Don't nobody got time. Listen, look look at both of these cards here that we are rejecting. That we are rejecting. Look at these motherfuckers. Don't feel sorry for walking away. Look at that. That is sad. A drunk. A drunk. This person is too busy chasing their need to fulfill their own self. They don't see anything but that. So if anyone has some type of way of me saying that that ain't no true divine masculine and that motherfucker can eat dick, y'all can go eat dick with him. Because I'm trying to tell you, my motherfuckers, my OGs, my ones that, that that's in this shit with me, they with me on that shit. Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. And anybody chasing behind that, you stupid. Unsubscribe. Fuck y'all me. Please. And I'm sorry. And I, and I be trying to tell God. I be like, God, please help me be more gentle to people. That, But I can't. I cannot promote stupidness. I will not promote stupidness and fuckery. Y'all will not get that on my page. I will not lead y'all in the wrong way continue to manifest and, and stand up and you'll stand the fuck up on these hoes you don't respect me you don't listen to someone who don't respect they self. why y'all chasing after this shit why y'all just as stupid as they are so if you still chasing the word after this motherfucker listen my OG's know better uh uh <laughs> we pulled up we pulled up on these hoes and they sitting and they saying only thing they can do now is sitting back watching the all of us. The all of us. The all of us. You seen us go through the mud. The all of us. And we still pulled up. We still successful. We still good. And they sitting back looking at us like how the fuck you did that? Because God got us. What? We don't sit back and worry about fuck hoes. About narcissistic fuck hoes. After you get with it, you get left behind, nigga. We ain't got time for it. We ain't got time for it. We manifest greatness. We don't play with peasants and idiots. We don't do that. Listen, we don't some Queen of Pentacles shit. We completely sleep on y'all hoes. Y'all see her? Y'all see the snake trying to hand her a motherfucking pinnacle? She sleep on y'all hoes. Y'all see how beautiful she is? Look at her. Look at her face. Look at her hair. Look at her fabrics, honey. Look at her environment. She's in lush, luxurious, comfortable, serene. <laughs> She ain't accepting no pinnacle from no snakes. She sleep on y'all hoes. Sleep. Fuck. <laughs> and look at them lips, honey. Look at them lips. I want y'all to look at her. Look at her face. Y'all see how beautiful y'all are. Y'all see that glow? That's that glow. Y'all see that glow? 
We don't accept no pinnacles from no snakes. Like I said, if y'all niggas don't like that, I said that I'm fucking subscribed because I want y'all to know how dumb y'all look. Y'all want to accept pinnacles from snakes? We sleep. Look, my gang, 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 we sleep on that shit. Fuck y'all mean. Look. <coughs> we sleep on this. What? They And that's the thing. That's, that's why they know don't even come this way. Don't even come this way. They already know don't even come this way. What? You get no, you get no acknowledgement here. You get no acknowledgement here. We do not entertain and we do not glorify fuck shit over here. We are too busy working on. Listen, you see this plot and this plan. You see them and strategizing. They they trying to fit this three of pentacles. Libra is too busy getting nourishment. Okay, shout out to all my OGs that be in the um divine feminine daily bread. We be too busy getting daily nourishment about how to get ourselves together and how to get to where the fuck we want to go. Cause when we go on all my OGs that be in um divine feminine daily bread, we going to Wakanda. Okay, God told us He got a ticket for us to Wakanda. Okay. Wakanda the fuck forever, okay? A good man with a strong back, with a with a baby leg, okay? Smooth loving, dedicated, loyal, honorable, king shit. So we're looking at the map to Wakanda. Okay, bitch, all right? All right? These are fellow Wakandans, and he's like, look, I done been there. Listen, I done, listen, I'm trying to tell you. That's the motherland. We going back to the motherland. So we trying to build our boat. We trying to do whatever the hell we we building up. We are planning for success, okay? Manifestation, take a authority, okay? Ain't no ignoring me. We taking authority. Ain't no ignoring me. We kicking through the door, waving in the foe, foe, okay? We plan plotting and strategizing on how the hell we get into Wakanda, okay? Or how our life is about to be. That's why we say that manifestation, honey. And don't force it. Do not force it. The map is being, listen, the plan is being given to you piece by piece, okay? It's like a, a scavenger hunt, okay? I just heard a scavenger hunt. It's like a scavenger hunt, okay? And like I said, one by one, one door opening, door number two, number three, number four, number five. All these new doors are being opened. And every time a new door is being opened, like uh, this, car, this part get colored in, then this part, then this part. And it, it's like, it's helping you be able to see in color. It's being given to you piece by piece. That's why Spirit is saying don't force it. Everything is not going to make sense to you. All at one time. Allow this shit to come to you naturally. You see what I'm saying? You manifested this shit. And fuck fear. Don't put no fear into that shit. Don't put no fear into that shit. You good. You dumb good. You dumb good. You studying the plan. Like Libra is studying the plan right now. And they getting spiritual help. And not only that. They got their dogs helping them with their shit. Because they like bitch. I want to go to Wakanda too. Look you see how they looking at this map. I told. Did not listen Libra. Y'all have literally inspired people. And I want y'all to know. Libra. Gang. 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 Because they like. How Libra out here sleep on hoes? We sleep on hoes. What the fuck do y'all want? Man? What? Uh, hold on. I ain't doing that. Hold, I'm gonna I'm record it. I'm gonna record it right back, okay? Got peace. But like I was saying, like, we sleep on, we in this dream land. We manifesting. We in this dream land. We manifesting. We're not acknowledging nobody. No, so, so if there's anybody that is looking to be claimed around this motherfucker, leave we're not claiming none of y'all. Libra is studying the game plan. And not only that, like I said, their friends have been watching them be emotionally, successfully, just, just everything fulfilled at every level. And they're like, how the fuck you do that shit by yourself? Because these are the type of bitches. You see these bitches in the back? These are the type of bitches be looking for a man to get them happiness, a man to give them hope, a man. They're like, how the fuck you doing all this shit? And you be getting all this attention from motherfuckers and shit. How's you, bitch? Listen, I be on my G shit. You don't go back to fuck shit. That's why. See y'all motherfuckers, see the friends, the ones that sit up there looking at you like how you like 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 your map to Wakanda, they about to leave they niggas and go to Wakanda too. Okay? 
Where my sisters at in the comments? Y'all let me know because I'm dead ass serious. Like, am I lying? Are y'all girlfriends not watching you stay pulled up? Regardless of the dirt and the, and the struggle and everything that you got, you went through. You still emotionally good. You still, on, listen, on your goddamnedest. And they like, bitch, you motivating me to want to leave this motherfucking nigga. This nigga the narcissist bullshit ass motherfucker too, bitch. How the fuck you, what you do to not go back to that shit, bitch? Listen, let me show you the map. I'm going to Wakanda this motherfucker summer, bitch. Y'all going, they like, yeah, bitch, we going. You see how they look at the map? Like, for real. They're like, show me, what, what the fuck did you do? Like, what did you do where you just stop? Where you stop giving this person attention? Because Libra just stop giving motherfuckers attention. They stop entertaining fuck shit. And they went to sleep on these hoes. And they is like studying this shit. They is like, man, because I'm trying to get away from this motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I always go back and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know this person ain't good for me. Like, please show me what you did. And you like, nigga, manifestation. Come on. <laughs> you like, bitch, God, God, me trusting God, me praying, me believing, manifesting, manifesting. Give me something in love, young. We about to jump into love. I don't know. I just looked over the love because I'm in this pinky, pinky, pinky mode. Give me guidance and love for my Libras because, like, y'all are truly manifesting and y'all are showing other people the way. Okay? Then I hear I'm a big old freak. I love to talk my shit. Come ah! <laughs> on. Oh, Playfulness. Y'all not playing around with these fuck hoes. Religious factors. You only messing with people that understand who you are. If you ain't on my page, I don't fuck with you. Okay? I'm going back to the way I used to be. I'm not playing around with these motherfuckers that ain't on my page. If you don't believe what the fuck I believe, if you don't have the same once in regards to relationship, marriage, and just commitment, you ain't on my level. Let me hand you a, a shovel, dig you in a ditch. Bitch, bye. Like, I cannot. I'm not. I am, and I'm here. I am too grown for this shit. I am too grown for this shit. <laughs> I need someone that is going to show me the same passion that I show them. Okay? Listen, I am loving myself first. First and always. I am loving myself first and always. And that's why you, it's like, oh, past life relationship. Someone that you've known before. So, you know what, let's, 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 let's get into this because I don't, listen, who is this? Because we want new, new. We don't want no old, old stuff. Who is this? Give me guidance in regards to this past life relationship here that's coming into Libra. Who is this past life relationship? Give me information about this person. Because Libra not playing. Libra's not playing. They manifesting something new. 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 That is on their level. New. Okay? And they're not playing. They're not playing. So who is this past life person? But I feel like it might not be. It might not be. Because you're loving yourself. And, and you're, yeah, you're loving yourself and you want a passionate connection. And I'm not talking about no passionate makeup to break up passion bullshit. No, this is passion that is going to be like forever, forever, forever. Like a passion. That's what it is. Boom. Okay. So past life relationship. Y'all want to love yourself first because you want this connection to be, even though you don't know this person, it's going to be something where so you felt like y'all have known each other before, like you've been here before, and it's like y'all connection is going to be so on point that it's like y'all almost feel like I've known you before, I'm picking up where we left off, but you don't know this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a true soulmate connection, like seriously, seriously. Give me guidance in regards to this. Give me guidance into, into this. Thank you. But yeah, it's going to feel like a past life connection because you are loving yourself first and you are very passionate and you want a very passionate lover, someone that has the same beliefs as you and you're not playing around. You're not giving your body to just anybody. You know what I'm saying? You want a real soul connection, a deep connection, a connection that goes beyond just the human form. It's like five dimensional. It's, it's on every Okay, the nine of cups. Okay. Okay. 
okay this is someone at this current moment is not emotionally fulfilled in whatever situation that they're in and they're most definitely looking to move forward to go somewhere else somewhere else more balanced someone more balanced this is the ace of pentacles but this is the ace of pentacles where it's going to be balanced and it's going to be a balanced situation for all parties involved they want a happy home that is secure and almost to where that partner that they with feels like their companion is like their friend this person is tired of just like being emotionally confused about love and everyone watching them juggle this is someone that was trying to juggle you before and they had you in a in a in a, in a conflict in a competition with other people and you ended it so this this past life person if it's not I am saying I am saying the peak the person in love that you're trying to manifest I feel like y'all want a deep like past life love relationship type of connection but then at the same time I do feel like this is someone that you ended something with. This is definitely someone that you've been with before. And this person is not happy right now. This person is not emotionally fulfilled right now. You see the little thing. It don't got no fruit in it. And all the cups are empty. And they're now realizing that you are, your, you are that world. And they're wanting to move forward towards you. But I feel like they are waiting on something. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to figure out should they leave something behind and move forward towards their world. Or what is a better world to them. What is more balanced. And what is fair. And what is honorable. And I feel like whatever they did to you in the past was not balanced. Was not fair. Was not honorable. You know what I'm saying? It was not good judgment on their part. You see what I'm saying? This is someone wanting to make right situations that they fucked up in the past you see what i'm saying they want to make this situation brand new and solid and just fruitful for everybody involved you see there's two people here there's two people so they want to make this balance for both people But I feel like they look at you like you like like you're their companion. Like you're their, like you'll always be their companion type of thing like that. But I don't like that because at the end of the day, don't look at me like no motherfucker companion. But because behind them, it's a man and a woman like stepping towards this older man, like wanting his approval on their connection you see what i'm saying like that's behind your back you see what i'm saying like that's behind your back and all the while it's like you're just this person's dog and i don't know if i like that because it could have just been this side of the coin where it's just a new beginning where it's just going to be prosperous and 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 you know strong longevity but this one it got two people on the card so that kind of that kind of concerns me a little bit that kind of concerns me especially with this seven of cups and yeah like this is this is somebody that everyone's seen them trying to juggle the situation with you and this other person because they just considered you a companion in the past and they were like confused because they had so many options. They had so much shit to deal with. They didn't know what to do. And they just kept making wrong moves. And, and it was like, I feel like it was like, I feel like it was a show for everyone. It was a spectacle. Like I said, you see everybody watching him as he's skipping along throughout the neighborhood, juggling two people. And it's like, this ain't no fucking show. It's like this person put you in a competition and a battle 
for their love with someone else. I feel like that's why y'all not giving this person attention anymore. And you ended that shit. You was like, you and you motherfuckers, death. Death becomes you. I'm ending it with both of y'all. I don't want to see none of y'all motherfuckers. Anyone that even, listen, anyone that was even up there on them balconies looking at this shit. You ended all of this shit with all of them motherfuckers. You don't talk to none of them no more. You don't hang with them no more. You do not fuck with these nigga. I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. Judgment. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you at all. No, this is not just. This is justice. Justice. <laughs> but it's justice. You know what I'm saying? Like this person wants. This person is, is justice. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person wants justice. They're not emotionally fulfilled. And they look at you like you'll always be a companion to them. But it's just like, nah, like Libra ain't looking for nobody to be looking at them like I'm always going to be your dog, your companion when behind my back. When behind my back, you actually looking at someone else like a whole fucking human being? Like, no, what you mean? You looking at this motherfucker like that's your man or that's your bitch. Don't look at me like I'm no motherfucker companion. And you can have a happy, solid home with me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I don't like that. I don't like that because I know this debt. I know this debt. I know what this debt mean. That's what the fuck that shit mean. Fuck you, bitch. And like I said, you done, the shit was out there for everybody to see. And that's why I don't talk to none of y'all motherfuckers. I don't talk to none of y'all motherfuckers no more. And like I told you, Libra is motherfucker moving and going to Wakanda. And then they main friends, they real fucking friends. They real friends that watch them be on this gangster shit. They studying and they watching and they like, I'm about to go to Wakanda too. Fuck these motherfuckers. We don't even acknowledge these stupid ass bitches around this motherfucker. And we dead ass don't. Give me guys. This is the Psychic Tarot deck. Give me guidance here from the Psycho Tarot. Psycho. <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, maybe this motherfucker is a psycho. And I, I feel like, you know, Libra do feel like this. Like, whoever this is, I don't know if, if this is Libra that did this to somebody. They experienced this from a Libra. Or is this is someone that did this to Libra. But they really do feel like this person is psycho. Like, how could you even... Like, you just sound stupid. You sound stupid. Temptation. Yeah. The devil. Temptation. Temptation. It's like, I, I, no, 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 no. You, you, no, 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 no. Temptation. And it's like, right now, only thing Libra is, is worried about is their um, financial and material changes in their life. But I feel like that temptation with that person it affected. It affected their finances and material. Them keep giving into temptation with this person. And what is it saying? Transit, transformation. They go that death card. They go that death card. And I feel like the, the devil, the challenge card, and then the death card. But it's like someone here is still allowing a temptation to beat them, though. And what I want you to understand is like you still holding on to this. Someone is still holding on to this. Because this is that. This is the death card. Some people. Some people are going to allow this person. This, this past life person to come back into their life and tempt them. And it's going to affect your finances and your material wealth. It's going to fuck your foundation up. Up all over again. That's your root chakra. You know? And if you give into this, this temptation, that protection, that awareness, that being insight, insightful, and that, you know, being grounded, it's going to affect that. Because it's like, you're going to allow this temptation to come and stagnate this transformation when it's like you already ended this shit. Because this person had you out there competing and battling with motherfuckers. And the thing that you don't know, this time is going to get a lot worse than it was the first time. 
And you might not make it out of this one unscathed this time. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to get a lot more heated. And whereas though it just seemed like the same old shit like you went through with this person last time, it ain't going to be the same this time, beloved. I'm letting you know what is behind your back. You see what I'm saying? Just because people put something in front of you, it seems like it's the same old, same old. You never know what's creeping up behind you. Might be a little bit more dangerous this time than it was the first time. So I want y'all to be careful. Especially with someone that humiliated you. And especially with someone that you already ended this shit with. Because what you, you don't understand, you came through like a gangster and you ended this shit. And this motherfucker sitting over there like a weeping willow crying over you and all of this shit like that. And you in the back in the sunset skipping around naked and shit like that acting like a goddamn flower child. And this motherfucker mourning and crying and shit. That's their issue. If you get, I'm trying, I, I'm warning you. For the ones that still want to play with fire. You play with fire, your finances, your material gain, everything that you work for is going to get burnt. Because you won't tra you won't move through this transformation. You still want to hold on to something that God trying to take care of, trying to take away from you. But the devil wants you to crave it every day. So whose side are you on? Okay? Because believe it or not, the Grim Reaper, he works for God. God giveth and God taketh. So when God said it's time for shit to end, it's time for shit to end. But who wants to come around and confuse you? That's his game. That's his game. And God not going to fight with you. Because if you're going to allow this person to come through and change everything that you done worked so hard for. God going to let you. You want to stop this transformation because you want to go play with the devil again? Go ahead. I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it. It's your life. It's your free will. God helps people that want to be helped. You understand what I'm saying? So that message is for people that just because, and that's why I keep asking y'all when y'all keep, is he coming back? Why the fuck y'all want this person back? Why? Why? It's like a glutton for punishment, like I said in the other video. That's some cutter type of shit. And you like hurting yourself? Why you want him back? Everyone, all the other readers keep saying he's coming back. He is going to come back to fuck your life up. Like, what you don't get about that? Why you want that? You don't like yourself or something? OG, stand up in here, man. Please grab these babies. Please grab them. OGs grab them. My OGs know what the fuck it is. My OGs know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Look, stand in your ground. Listen, what my OGs, I just, what I just say, I said my OGs come through. What my OGs just say, stand your motherfucking ground. We Libra. Gang, gang, gang out this bitch. We don't play this fuck shit. We come too motherfucking far to fold now. We got too much faith. We got too much power in us. Stand your fucking ground. Stand up on these motherfucking hoes in the, in the words of Sean Bradley. Stand up on these hoes. Stand up on them hoes. You hear me? Stand up. Know your place. Don't ever take your crown off. Don't never step down, especially when you already walked away from this motherfucker. Hell, y'all want a fuck nigga like this one? Oh, then you see somebody drinking and all. Like, get the fuck. Y'all got to be out your rabbit ass goddamn mind. To want to accept that back into your life. And like I said, if y'all have some problems, y'all know what I said. Hit the unsubscribe button. Because I'm actually trying to help y'all. And sometimes it hurts to hear how stupid you sound sometimes. Listen, and I told y'all in my other video. I used to watch um My Angelic Karma. I think that's what her name is or whatever. Man, when I was going through my bullshit, her words used to cut my ass, but I, I had to listen to it. It would be sometimes where I would click off of it and I just would swallow my pride. Be like, God damn, that shit hurt. That shit hurt. But I would go back to because I needed that shit to hurt so I can really realize how crazy I was and get over this shit and wake up. You understand what I'm saying? 
So I'm not trying to hurt you. This motherfucker trying to hurt you, not me. Because I know it's a lot of new people that's coming and is going to click this video that need to hear this shit. I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't look at me like I'm the energy, like I'm the enemy. This person, this one, this temptation. I'm not about to fuck with your money. This person about to come and put his to look. Y'all better transform and stay in y'all ground. Give me a unicorn card for my Libras. Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Whatever this person did, have compassion and, and release this person and let them go. All right. That purple, your crown chakra, you understand everything that you needed to understand and get throughout this period of your life with this person. Right? So stay your ground. Don't allow nobody to come back and try to tempt you, especially when they see that you coming up and you manifesting and you pulled up. That's what this motherfucker wants. You pulled up. You understand what I'm saying? This motherfucker wants some of what's in that cup. Bitch, I did not offer you. You ain't appreciated. So get gone. What more is there to talk about? You don't tempt me no more. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Silly rabbit. Silly goose. Okay? Clarify this for me. Clarify this, this, this temptation and this financial and material gain and, and, and transformation, compassion, manifestation. Clarify this for me, Father God. Thank you so much. This is the Game of Thrones deck. Clarify for me. Two of Spears. So there you go again. You know, leaving, knowing very much so what you left behind was the best move for you. And that's Daenerys. You understand what I'm saying? If she would have never left behind that bullshit that was her past, she would have never became the Dragon Queen. The breaker of all chains or whatever the hell she said. She would have never became the Dragon Queen. She would have never, she would have never, she would have never truly lived in her divine purpose if she didn't walk away and leave that shit behind. You got to leave that shit behind. Forgive them. Forgive them. It says be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in, your, in yourself and others. If you would have never, listen, if Daenerys wouldn't have went through, because Daenerys went through some shit in her life. And she would have never was able to find compassion and understand the purpose for her going through everything that she went through and able to take all of that energy and transmute it and know that she got to move forward. Because it's something that lies in her that she just knew it was just itching to come out. She's the fucking dragon queen. You are the dragon queen. If you don't leave that shit behind... All of that stuff that's boiling up in you, all that stuff that you manifest and that's itching to come out, it will never come to be if you don't walk out on faith and leave that shit behind. You see your destiny. You see that dragon in. You see your destiny. You know who the fuck you are. Leave that shit the fuck behind. Thank him. What says the priestess in reverse? It is time for you to take everything that you know and get out on the streets with it. You have been keeping yourself secluded and hidden in your lair. Studying and learning all of the truths of the universe far too long. It is time for you to get out of the house. Okay? You know, you know where your destiny lies. It's time for you to get out of the house. Okay? Because a lot of y'all are stuck in the house. You know? And I don't want you to, for one second, think that you're not powerful, that you're not resourceful, that you're not brilliant. That you can't manifest. This ain't nobody that's being sneaky or vindictive or conniving. This not a bad person. This is just someone that's kept themselves in hiding for far too long. Trying to make a decision on if it's time for me to come out and show motherfuckers what I made. It's time, bitch. Let's move. What is this? Yeah, the six of spirits in reverse. Let's move. And do not give nobody fucking attention that don't deserve it. Don't give nobody attention that is not deserving. Nobody. Absolutely fucking positively. Nobody. Because if you do, you will not succeed in your voyage. You will not come back the victor. They will try 
to seek and destroy everything that is your new foundation. Seven of coins. Everything that is your new foundation. Everything that you've been working hard for, that you've been growing, everything that you've been trying to create. You've been patient. You've been resilient. And you have been resisting temptation thus far. Have we not? Have we not? You have literally been tilling your land, nurturing your land, taking care of your crops, making sure that everything grows so that you can harvest it. You have been waiting to harvest everything that you've been working on, everything that you've been manifesting. So do not be distracted by giving someone attention. You will miss your harvest. Everything that God has been creating for you, he going to take it. Because if you allow this person back into your life, giving this person attention, they're going to take everything that you've been growing. That's what, That's the only reason why they want to come back into your life. That's the only reason. That is the only reason. What is this? The two of coins. Now you are the one juggling. Now you are the one balancing. Now you are the one. And what it says, the Lannisters always pays their debts. You're right. You're right. And my payment to you is to leave you in the past and continue working on myself. And the only thing I'm juggling is my spiritual. I'm juggling spirituality and I'm juggling my faith. That's it. My faith and my spirituality because those are the things that are keeping me going. My what I know spiritually and my faith in what I know. That's the only thing that's going to help me. With everything that I'm trying to manifest in my life. What's the three of coins? I don't need nobody to help me. I don't need nobody to show me shit. I've been shown everything. Like I said, high priestess. I've studied myself. I'm coming out with my own goddamn resources. With what I know. I don't need y'all to teach me nothing. I don't need nobody to help me with nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all just sit back and watch how the fuck I move. Three of spares. My goddamn ships are sailing in. Okay? My ships have been sailing in. So y'all damn right. Y'all damn right. I was sitting back waiting, trying to figure out where my destiny lies or what I should do. And now everything that I've been working on is coming towards me in abundance, in abundance, in abundance. The Hierophant, I'm going my own way. I'm going my own way. Like with that high priestess in reverse, I didn't rely on other people to teach me and to show me nothing. You know? This might even be you breaking away from old mindsets and, 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 and possibly old religions or something like that. Like, it might be like, you don't even believe that shit no more. So, and, I, and what I believe, I feel like that twin flame bullshit, y'all believed in that shit religiously. Like, y'all really believed in that shit. Y'all don't even fucking believe in that shit no more. You're like, I don't believe that shit. That shit is stupid. And for real, for real, that is a non-traditional way of living. That's not the way that I live. That's not the way that I was taught to be a runner or chaser. That's some bullshit. And not when I got, no. Y'all y'all are trying to teach me that it's okay to accept a third party relationship and sit back and wait on a man or a woman to come back to me while they getting their goddamn rocks off with someone else because we on some runner chaser bullshit. Guess what? Um, to, I decided to move forward and leave that bullshit behind because I know what is God given to me. I don't sit around and wait for nobody. I don't believe those teachings. So this is Libra walking away from that shit. They don't believe that motherfucking shit. Eight of coins. They're not, they definitely not working on and waiting on no shit like that. They feel like that would make them look stupid and fuck up their reputation. This is this is this this is someone knowing. That they got to move forward because that old way of thinking, thinking that that old third party shit is cool and to sit back and allow somebody to come back to me. Why? Then eventually they're going to wake up and they're going to see I'm their divine feminine or they're going to see I'm their divine masculine. You sound fucking retarded. You sound fucking retarded. That is me sitting up there waiting on my ships to come in on some non-traditional Fuck shit. That's going to fuck up my re reputation. And have everyone that knows me. And everyone that loves me. Looking at me fucking stupid. While I'm sitting back waiting for someone to get over a third party relationship. When I. This person has already humiliated me in front of every fucking body. So I'm about to really sit here and wait for this bitch to come back. To humiliate me in the public eye again. 
Because I don't know how to resist temptation. When this motherfucker already had me feeling crazy and stupid because this motherfucker was running around out here being a fucking whore. Was so confused because they had so many options that was better than me. Let's not forget that. This person had so many options that was better than you. That they decided not to choose you. But yet you sitting back. Come on. Come on. And if y'all sitting back for someone that looks at y'all like y'all just a companion. They like a companionate relationship with you. Why they be behind your back starting another family with someone else. If y'all don't see that that is a non-traditional way of thinking and that is fucking up your reputation and that everybody that anybody that don't know anything about like you be going to people trying to tell them, oh, that's my twin flame. And, you know, he's just running from me. Right. If you go to people that don't that have never heard of this shit before and you tell them this shit, they look at you like you're fucking crazy. Am I lying? Like you don't even go and tell everybody about this shit because you know they're going to look at you like you crazy and you don't want to fuck up your reputation. Am I lying? A lot of y'all that be, that be believing that, that I don't know who with devil created this twin flame bullshit that has brainwashed y'all. But this person is an evil person. Y'all keep following that shit. It's going to fuck up you and everybody's going to look at y'all like y'all crazy. Please do not be walking around telling no sane, sound mind people and happy, healthy, healthy. This person that created this twin flame shit is promoting unhealthy relationships. And it's making it okay in y'all mind to chase someone that is the devil. That is literally... I don't know who wrote this. But I'm going to pray for them. Because they have fucked up a lot of people. And you got people like me. Even though my delivery is harsh. I'm trying to help y'all realize how y'all are fucking y'all life up. And that this this is brainwashing. It's almost like a cult. And, and, it, and it's scary. It's very fucking scary. Because y'all are humiliating yourself. Y'all are humiliating yourself. And everyone on Facebook, they see y'all be emotional while this person skipping around through all the neighborhood fucking all of the bitches or all the niggas that they want fuck. And the whole world can see it. And you just sitting up there chasing around this person like a fool. This is my twin flame. And y'all be posting all this twin flame bullshit all on your Instagram and shit. And everyone's looking at you and they think that you're a fucking fool. And it is destroying your reputation. Somebody needs to hear this. Let me give you some guidance. Okay? So, please, whoever is dealing with Libra, please give me information about how you feel about Libra. Give me guidance. Okay? For all my OGs, please understand. And for my OGs, I think that y'all still need... I feel like a lot of y'all... That information for y'all, because y'all know it doesn't pertain to y'all. Y'all know only take what resonates. When y'all hear that, it's just a confirmation of how far that you've become. How far that you have come. And that you pulled up and you just like, thank God. I know she's not talking to me because I'm, I'm already past that. I'm already past that. Pat yourself on the back because everyone's watching you. Before everyone watched you get humiliated. Right? Not everybody watching you turn into a motherfucking G. And they trying to figure out what the fuck it is that you did so that they could follow your footsteps. Shout out to y'all. So y'all know that that message don't pertain to y'all. Give me guidance. In regards to the person that is dealing with Libra, how they feel. Either the person that is dealing with Libra or the person that is on Libra's mind. How do they feel about Libra? Give me guidance. It says, I wish I could take back things that I said. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. So I can't. I, I wish I could take back things that I said. But yet I can't even figure out the right words to say to you right now. I feel like this person, because they might have said some hurtful things to you in the past, it's like they don't want no fucked up shit to come out of their mouth again. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, 
I feel like they just chilling back until they can figure out the correct things to say. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Well, you know that. And then it says, I never forgotten of you, even though you think I have. So I feel like this, and I just heard not worthy. Um, I feel like this person, they are holding their self back from me. Because I definitely feel like that is someone that you have not, you broke up with. I mean, clearly we've seen that. You broke up with this person. Where's that death card? You walked away from this person and because they put you, they had you competing with other people. And you said the all of yous. Fuck you, bitch. And look behind they back. So this is what's going on with this person. This person is sitting back with their friends talking about you mourning everything. Oh, this person was my sunshine. I realize that now. Ah. We don't give a fuck about that shit. We don't give a fuck about that shit. Because you humiliated us. And you fucking embarrassed us. And you had us looking like a fool. You fucked my reputation. My reputation looked bad even dealing with you. I ain't got you to do. Give me guidance about how Libra feels about this person. I am just doing what I have to do right now. Okay? Tuh. Am I even good enough for you? Like I said, this person... This person treated Libra like they was just their companion. While they were off behind their back. Seeming like they were setting up shot with other people that meant more to them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, tch, I just had to do what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing what I got to do right now. Shit, am I even good enough for you? I don't even know why you contacted me, beloved. On everything. <laughs> like, you had me looking whole ass bad out here. You know what I'm saying? So I had to do what the fuck I had to do. Look, you had me out here competing with bitches, all this shit. All on fucking Facebook, you all with a whole nother bitch acting like you bought the wife her and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Please. Ain't no confusion about this shit no more. Okay? Pimping. Since been pimping. Since been pimping. So, look. I'm manifesting greatness over here. Shout out to all my OGs. That's manifesting to the people that are still sitting here in this twin flame shit. Cut it out. You are inviting the devil back into your life. And when you do, please do not bring that motherfucking energy on this page. I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to tell you, go find another reader. Do not bring that shit over here. Okay? So I love y'all. And I'm dead ass serious. I love you. Okay? I don't care if y'all like my delivery or not. I will work with God. And I will ask him to please help me learn how to be a little bit more nicer. Okay, in my approach and delivery, but I am just who I am. If you cannot take it, like I said, I don't feel no way. Unsubscribe for the people that understand what I'm, where I'm going with this shit. Because I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. You are hurting yourself. That is cutter. That is self-abuse. You see this person. You see this. You see what you, you see what you walked away from. Why would you, why would you, why would you let the devil back into your life? This person wasn't paying you no attention until you left. Why do you want that back? Why? That's someone that does not love their self. And I'm going to be the one that tells you that. So whoever is still sitting back waiting and wanting and trying to manifest the devil back into your life. I am telling you, you do not love yourself. You need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, why do I want someone that hurt me, literally almost destroyed me, self-consumed? This person could have exposed you to diseases. And I told you, you would let this motherfucker, but where they call that? Where's that? I told you, last time it wasn't that bad. You just had a whole bunch of comments. Yeah, you got embarrassed and shit. It was bad. It was bad to me. This time, it ain't going to be. You keep on playing. It's going to go to the point of no return this time. It's things that's going to happen this time that you can't take back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I want y'all to understand and think about 
how precious your life is to you and what's worth it. Because me taking pills for the rest of my life ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Me having bitches pulling up at my job trying to fight me at my job or me possibly having to fight some bitches to the death when motherfuckers is trying to jump me or I'm having to walk around having to watch my back all the time because bitches is literally trying to fight me to the death for a piece of dick or for a girl. There's two men battling right here. Think about what y'all manifesting. Love yourself. Because if you want to play with him, he going to let you, he going to play right with you. And like I said, God ain't going to, God ain't going to, God going to say, listen, ever you going to be everything that I taught you to be and stay on your ground, or you going to fight this transformation. Everything that I don't work so hard for you. If you gonna let this person come back and you you not gonna you not gonna stand your ground and you gonna let this person easily come back and tempt you to halt this transformation and you willing you willing to go back to something that you come so far for, I'ma let you. And when you do, don't come back here crying. Alright? So this has been y'all reading. I love y'all. <laughs> Listen, don't force it. Everything that you've been manifesting is gonna come to you one piece. At a time. Allow that shit to come. Fuck fear. It will lie to you in your face. And listen. If you need to get your good cry on. Get that ugly ass cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Don't worry. Once you manifest something. You know. God got you. Know it. Believe it. Walk forth in that faith. And you will receive it. If you allow if you allow this motherfucker to come to you, where he go? I can't even find him. I can't even find him. If you allow this motherfucker to come to you, be like, you know what? God ain't real. If he was real, why he ain't all that shit? How, look how long you been praying. Don't you think you would have had it by now? Don't you think you would have had it by now? This, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. And then you start getting down on yourself. And then you be like, you know what? Man, fuck this transformation shit. He, he said he won't give me my ex back. I'm just going to go. Go ahead. Go ahead. When you end up back here, when you end up back here, I don't want to hear it. I love y'all. Stop acknowledging fuck hoes. You be that queen. Stay sleep on these bitches. Don't accept no pinnacles from those snakes. I love you. Peace.